subscribe please just click that watermark that's throughout the video on the bottom right welcome to fast Stang 444 I am starting at the Rise and Rush Festival site. There isn't a drop that I see or hear, but the announcement of incoming car drops gives me hope. Incoming car drops. This is a perfect example of why you should stay after you hear that incoming car drop announcement, because there's a drop behind me, and I think there's one in front of me now that appeared as well. I'll slow this part down. I think it's fun that you get to see inside of the festival site people jumping up and down dancing and the car winds up on the front left portion of it bouncing around as it <laughs> is <laughs> like just landing from space or something. <laughs> wasn't a car that was behind me, it was the one that is in front that I heard. So I will go over and take that. This is actually a really good start. This level 2 Audi RS6 is more like a level 5 or 6 speed car. So this is this is a really good start for me. Let's jump off of this cliff and I'll look back towards the left. Sometimes there's a drop over there. There wasn't so. This road leads to the Arriga. east side of Guanajuato. And this is where I decide do I want to continue over here or do I want to go to the right? There is a castle home that's off on the right where sometimes there's drops. So I will just peek to the left see any drops over there so let's go over towards the castle home and see if there are any drops over there I'm not seeing any so I've gone into Guanajuato on that road but sometimes over this hill here or hills there are drops I'll just continue over this way there is a road that leads um, I would say on the northwest side of Guanajuato and it will curve back to where the next arena is going to be. Alright, forward flip. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> Stuck the landing. Perfect. <laughs> so, let's go over here. I don't see any drops yet, but I'm optimistic. As I said, I had fairly good luck finding drops over this direction, so let's see what I find. Okay, I see drop here, I think one farther in the distance. Yes, there is. This is a Peugeot level 2. This level 2 is faster, so I'll stay in the Audi RS6. This other drop is. I had good luck finding drops away from where everyone is at on the outskirts. Oh, and here you go Mercedes Benz AMG GT. Perfect. This is, this is a really good start. I went on to get into my first head-to-head -head in this game and wound up leveling up into a Nissan GTR. For whatever reason, I am missing the video for that head-to-head. -head. So here we are upgrading into the Nissan GTR. And right after that, I get into this head-to-head -head with this car. Watch this. There is speed mod. Watch how fast they go. Watch the minimap. And I thought they were kind of herky-jerky around on the mini-map, or on the visually next to me. Look at that. Watch how fast they're going. And then they just disappear off the mini-map, but visually I could see them, and they're gone. Part of me, out of anger, I want to just rage quit, but I am going to continue on and record this, and 
possibly report them when they just teleport to the finish. I'm thinking they're just sitting at the finish waiting for me to get close. But it shows I'm in first place, which I forget if the teleporters, when they do that, if you stay in first place until they just cross the finish line. I think that's what happens. So that's what I'm anticipating. And I get here, they're not here. I wind up winning this. I'm not sure what happened there. If they quit or they weren't teleporting, they were using a speed boost and ran into something. I, I'm not sure what happened there, but I beat a cheater is what I think just happened. And I am in a group A. What a great car. So I am going to go over here and take a peek at these drops. This is actually a good drop for someone. If uh, they don't have at least a level 7 yet. I thought about just sitting here being a car drop sniper, but decided um, I am going to circle around the perimeter and go away from where the head to heads are leading. Let's see if I can't find someone in a lower or mid-level drop. You'll notice there is time off my timeout bar. That first head-to-head -head that I was in, I uh, wound up outside of the arena for, well, it looks like around a second or a good portion of a second. Of course, I'm looking at drops around here. Found a level 10 drop right there before. So, okay, it is going to be the final arena around Atlantis de Tula. Wow, two people just were outside of the arena and were eliminated. Oh, there's someone here. Oh, I thought I had them. What was that, a Chola, I think? I started heading the direction of the finish because sometimes there is a big delay and I thought well maybe that other head-to-head -head I was in was the game glitching or something and the game is glitching right now but let's get close to them I thought I had them Oh, they got in the head-to-head. -head. Just missed them. I don't know why. I don't know. Maybe the game is glitching. And I shouldn't have called that person a cheater. And, uh, let's see here. Okay, they just got into a head-to-head. -head. I'm just missing getting into head-to-heads with these people. Here's someone here. Come on, let's go. Oh, they, they, I started heading the direction of the head-to-head. -head, and They continued on that line around the perimeter. Let's try again. They're over near the greenhouse. Let's get on the other side of them. Awesome. I drew them away. Perfect. All right. I call that bleeding away. So I led them away from the direction of a head-to-head. -head. That worked. Now let's see here. Let's get over. I could have gone over towards that road. Taken a clearer route. Didn't get over far enough. I'm probably going to hit a tree. I did. But I have a decent enough lead where I should be able to win this. So let's get through the rest of this try and not hit too many trees and slow down so I can maneuver through here. So far so good. Alright, there's this dirt road over here that leads. Where's the finish? I think it's over on the road near the tunnel, so I'll just continue on this line. Oh, it's in the tunnel. I need to go over to the right here. 
I'll slow this down, watch this. I bounce off the tree, but there's a car jammed between the tree and the bridge there. <laughs> I think that's an AMG GT. I'm not sure if it's a Audi RS7, but it looks like they they need to either reset or something. Or <laughs> but I'll wind up winning this and get into uh, a level 10. Let's see what is offered. All right, great, a Hoonigan RS200. This will be a great vehicle for this final showdown. over a half of a minute before the final showdown so I will slowly make my way over cautiously in case someone is sniping cars on the perimeter here I do not want to engage in another head-to-head -head. so let's go over towards Atlantis to Tula pyramids Circle back through the pyramids. Run into the same spot almost that I ran into earlier. Alright, I think I'm Arena, safe now shrinking. to just creep over and get in position for the final showdown. I'll engage in a head-to-head -head with them just to see if I can get them to run out of position. Oh, away cake. I recognize this gamer tag. I had a video where I posted I had back-to-back head-to-heads where both of them had cake in their name and they were one of them. Head-to-heads complete. Get ready for the final showdown. Final showdown begins in 30 seconds. I'd like to park next to this shed, this point that I leave from near this intersection, and I'll show you on the map where this is located. It's a short distance to the exit from here. I have to keep in mind that I have one second off of my timeout bar. This is Arena 9. The range of time to leave is 11 to 13 seconds. I will leave it the minimum 11 seconds due to having that one second off of my time. That's a Brocky behind me giving me a push. Final showdown in 3. I'll go over to the left, but the pop-up blocks the vision of that tree. So I just fortunately just graze off of it on my two wheels, cut over to this road, and then now start angling over to the left here. There is a H-shaped pattern of roads ahead. I want to be on the left edge of that H. Me and Away Cake are trading paint here. If you go right up that H-shaped road pattern, there's a bump that will send you flying into the air. And this Brocky that I catch up to, that's what they did. Remember this finish point. I am going to try and go right of this intersection and then angle to the left. I will cross the stream and then try and hit this bump that is short of these buildings. Watch this Brocky. He hits this tree, stops, and here's this like bump. And if I could get through here without hitting anything, I can clear these buildings. Watch this. This is the best I've ever done it. I go over these buildings, clear this telephone pole. land in line of this dirt road that leads to the finish. <laughs> that is amazing. That's the best I've ever 
completed that jump over to this finish point. Wow, that even surprises myself. <laughs> Please congratulate the Eliminator! That was a great win for me. Jumping through there without hitting anything, sticking the landing. That is up there in one of my top finishes, my top wins. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video. And if you haven't yet, click that link on the bottom right and subscribe. Thank you.